get these weird angles, but part of the challenge, I guess. Ooh. Let's not die here. Camera's a bit weird. Turn around, please. <laughs> We're good. That was close. Hey guys, how's it going? So we've actually got a new uh, workshop map to be uh, practicing our aerial control. Uh, it's called Rings 3, I believe. I didn't know there were three of them, um, but I've actually replaced my underpass map because I'm working on something with uh, free play. So I have this set up right now where I can replace any map I want. I've never tried this before. Um, I've been told it's a lot bigger than the first or second one, whatever it was. <laughs> uh, but I'll, let's just give it a go and see how we do. I've never really uh, practiced the other rings one. I know it was really short, so I haven't really given it a try. So far, not looking too bad. I think it's all about taking your time and controlling here because I think if you go too fast you'll end up throwing yourself off the edge. I think there's a lot of uh, hidden barriers to make sure you have to go through each ring. But it's uh, really fun to practice like doing spins like this, getting some good control. I'd really love to see like each of these give you a little bit of boost and you don't have to, you don't have to like put on a limited boost on. That way you can actually um, practice how much boost you're actually spending on each of these. I'm sure there'd be a way to like run through it, see how much you're using, and then calculate how much you give to each player when they go through these rings. Also, um, in the future, I want to do a map like this. Um, it's really simple. You just like put rings up with poles and stuff, and then obviously you have to do the detection around the outside of the rings. But um, like just setting it up so that uh, you have like a race, and uh, each of them give you boosts, and you have to like make it through each ring and stuff, and fight people in the air and stuff. That'd be really fun, I think. Have some sort of uh, mid-air battle. <laughs> Even thinking about it would be hilarious. Like hearing John or other people just like scream at the top of their lungs because they get demoed mid-air or something. Oh, that's gonna be fun. And I'm also working on a uh, Crystal Caverns parkour map right now, which also will be a race kind of map. It will be multiplayer friendly, and um, that way, you know, I, I I like all these solo like testing maps and stuff and aerial control, but it's always more fun to like have an actual metric to compare yourself to so like for example playing against other people who are good at the game and then racing them in those kind of things oh god that's small oh my god i don't think the other rings map had any small red rings like this this is pretty crazy obviously i'm taking my uh, my time on this not going too fast right now just making sure i control i'm gonna try and not die just because you know better to better to be successful and Take your time and be methodical. Oh my god, what is that angle? Only thing I would suggest is like maybe putting a, a spawn ball in certain areas. Oh, okay, we're good. Um, just to be able to see where we're going because sometimes uh, you get these weird angles, but part of the challenge, I guess. Ooh. Let's not die here. Camera's a bit weird. Turn around, please. <laughs> we're good. That was close. We uh, recovered quite well there. I think I used a, a matter of like 400 boosts though. <laughs> Ended up hitting that ring a little bit, spun me around. Let's see how we do. Yeah, I really like all these challenges. They're really cool. I could see like this, you know, going on a long time if you just like take these kind of designs and mess with them. You could honestly probably like copy paste the, uh, the, the detection for like setting you back on each of these rings and then just place them everywhere. Might cause some issues if you do that though. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Oh, see, there you go. So you actually do like end up respawning if you hit the ring too much or something. I don't really know how that works. What? That was weird. So unfortunately, we did die once, but that's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is a, yeah, I've definitely tried the other rings map, but I didn't really like go through it too much just because it was really, really short. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> it's a really weird takeoff. I really wish that like the ring was kind of set towards it, but it's not a bad score. Got three minutes, uh, 56 seconds. I think we're going to try and run through it again a little bit faster. 
Which uh, usually means I'll actually probably do worse because I hit rings more often and stuff. Also, actually, I want to test this out. I wonder if they added like a Easter egg. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, try the middle one. Oh, that's so sad. I really wish that uh, they did something with this. Maybe the uh, the windmill over here. It's like a light lighthouse windmill. Oh. All right, let's give this a second go. Um, three minutes fifty six on the clock for the first one. Let's see if we can beat it while going faster. Sometimes going slower is actually better for me anyway. I find that I can go a little bit more controlled. So the idea is to be controlled but then also be fast, which is increasingly difficult. <laughs> but I'm sure this will probably be the fastest run. Um, and then maybe the uh, full air roll one might be a little bit more difficult. I don't think it'll be faster than my first run. I think I only made one mistake with that that weird bounce. Oh, actually two. There were two weird errors. Um, so we'll see if we can improve on this. Oh. Coming in hot. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the maps though. Like, I, I really want to load the door wide open with a bunch of more stuff. I've got the bowling coming in. Um, I haven't really worked on it the last day or so. Just been practicing, like, actual Rocket League. Surprise, surprise. Um, and all this setup and stuff. I have the camera set in a, an angle right now, but that's because I have it set up in a way that I can have a full room view. Um, for like streams and stuff because I have a bunch of like background stuff like I, I got these uh, light panels uh, You can probably see like the edge of them uh, behind my head at the couch, but um, I don't know. I really like the whole room view. It's like sort of like a sh like what shroud does and stuff um, Just feels more roomy I don't like to have my face cam too close. I don't mind how it is like right now in the recording, but I don't know Obviously, I don't want to be too small. <laughs> you guys can't even see me. I hope you guys are, are liking the face cam, though. I don't I don't know if I'm going to use it for every video. might just use it once in a while. But I wanted to show off, like, uh, the new Brio I got. The Logitech Brio, the, the 4K webcam. I'm not going to use the 4K because it's 30 FPS and it's like looks a little slow. But 30 FPS, 80, uh, 1080p is really good. And you don't really lose uh, quality with the zoom function on this uh, this camera, which is also good. So we're sitting at uh, two and a half minutes, only uh, only a minute and a half to to keep with uh, within the score. I don't feel like I'm going that much faster actually. Being a little more efficient with not going on every single one of those uh, those pads, but I just want to make sure I don't die. I guess the main goal. Coming in a little too hot. We're good. There we go. Use the uh, use the ring to readjust. Once again, not the fastest. Ball cam is really disorienting. <laughs> Every time I look over there, it's like, oh, hi windmill. Oh, okay, nice. We could beat the time. I think we uh, we'll save a lot of time on this. This is the end right here. We got 356 last time, I think? This part's so weird. Okay. I just really didn't want to mess up, so... <laughs> Took my time. But, uh, 325. So we did improve, like, our time quite significantly. 31 seconds? But, uh, let's just do a constant air roll. So I'm just gonna literally glue my, uh, left finger to my left bumper. And just, uh... See how it does. I keep doing the ball cam thing. It's really annoying. So weird to hold on to the. I drifted too because I was holding it down. Oi. It definitely feels slower. I don't know how to like get off the ground there without letting. I guess it's not air rolling if I'm drifting. Like if I'm not on the ground. If I'm not on the air, so. I could technically let go of it. Because <laughs> then I'm just going to skirt, skirt over here like this. Which is what I was doing. Yeah, when I'm air rolling constantly, I have to like change the way I'm facing and stuff. There you go. 
Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a constant air roll player. I know gimmick does actually constant air roll. Which just doesn't make any sense to me. Pretty nuts if he can do it. Which he can obviously, but Hello ramp. A ring. <laughs> that was weird. I like how they are solid. Um where you can actually run into them and interact with them. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely slower. I think I was at like 50, 55 seconds here or a minute. But I am enjoying these. Like, it does feel like you can improve a lot of stuff uh, mechanics wise by changing your pace and stuff. Ooh! No problem. Oh, wait a minute. That collision, though. <laughs> this constant air roll, dude. I'm so bad at constant air rolling. Because I keep trying to, like, freestyle. Oh no, I use ball cam again. <laughs> like, it requires a lot of, uh, thought to which way you're going. You don't really need to do that much control in Rocket League in an actual match. Oh, <laughs> there, there we go. Wait, see, you can actually pass these rings. Like, some of them you can pass. It's kind of weird. Um, see, that's the thing. I, I, I like, uh... I readjust with air rolls. Oh, okay. I gotta do that. Um, but you want to keep your car vertical when you go through these, or else you'll start falling too fast. I have ball cam on again. I keep forgetting. Oh, it's actually harder than you think. You have to like readjust at the last second. My brain. Cause like my problem is I want to do the most efficient thing, but when you're holding down air roll, sometimes you turn the I turn the wrong way because I think oh I should let go of the bumper, but I'm trying really hard to keep my brain focused on holding that left trigger down because I keep uh keep wanting to switch it. Okay. No. Stop that. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Super efficient. Yeah, we're actually almost at the time of uh. My fastest run right now, so I really don't want to die right now because it's far. There it is. Come on. What? Oh, we have to go through this again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really what the heck. Um, I'm really enjoying uh, working on these maps. It's really fun. I'm learning like a lot with the community that that's been making these for the longest time. And I feel like I'm already at the level of where I can do whatever I want with the maps. I'm actually, uh, I was actually just working on getting this really strange shaped ball <laughs> to spawn. And I won't say much, much about it because it's pretty funny. Um, no, it's not, oh my god. No, it's not John Sandman's head, uh, but that will be coming. Dude, this is so weird. My brain can't handle it. Um, it's definitely a lot different. When you have to like change how you're thinking. I'm not sure if it's actually for the better. Like you might think, oh, this is good practice, but it's like, nah. I wouldn't do this in a game. Oops. Um very weird for my brain, I would say. It's all about uh the readjustments too. Like the those. There we go. Like I can definitely do it like uh, like almost like a like a remote control like hitting left right up down. But I'm trying to like use like cuxer flips. Okay, goodbye ring. <laughs> uh, use cuxer flips to do this whole thing like this. And it's not really working out too well. Cause I can do like this sort of stuff um, where you just like pull back. There we go. Not too bad. Yeah, this is good. This is a good. This is a good uh, map to, to test yourself on. Oh, I bet you I can skip this one. Never mind. <laughs> the game caught me for cheating again. No problem. Oh, come on, get on that ramp, please. I'm finding I've, I've let go of it a few times. And it's r really difficult to stop myself from doing it. 
Oh, easy peasy. Look at that. Oh no, get back up. Yes, I feel like if I passed that ring, I would have been screwed. Come on. Thank you, brain. And the final hurdle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, camera, please. Yeah, that one was a. Uh, that one was weird. I didn't like that. <laughs> I probably won't do that very much in the future. Uh, what the heck? Huh. Uh, hello. I'm confused. Okay, I'm saying that I finished that at like. 626 because I don't know what's happening <laughs> I like went right through the trigger and it's like no let me try it again there we go so <laughs> 650 <laughs> oh god that was not efficient at all but uh I blame having to talk and stuff and also I'm not used to like doing that sort of thing where I hold it down I don't really see the advantage of it I don't really know oh, there goes the ball <laughs> I don't know if it's a, a good thing but it was really fun. I really like uh, really like this map. I might use it in the future, just like in free play and stuff while I'm waiting for a match and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will definitely be doing uh, a map like this in the near future. Like I said, that Crystal Caverns is going to be really sick once I finish it. It's just a lot of work to get all the crystals and different shapes. Um, it's a lot more work than you think. And I want to get uh, some more default maps. I'm, I'm looking at like doing a Taurus map, like where you basically just go around a donut and there's two goals on each end um, maybe like extra goals in different spots and stuff but yeah I hope you guys are enjoying uh, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe it's uh actually like 75% of you aren't subscribed I've noticed from my videos so I really appreciate every single one of you that have have hit that button and have been sticking around but I'll catch you guys in the next video